This week finally started feeling like fall outside, didn't it? And Sauter Village is hosting special events all weekend to celebrate some of the first harvests of the fall. Apples. John Monk for Go419 takes us there. It's something you can only see one week a year at Sauter Village. This 140 year old cider press grinding together sweet and tart apples and squeezing out cider the old fashioned way. Education specialist Gail Richardson says in pioneer days, apple cider was more than a seasonal drink, but a vital part of frontier life. Mom needed about um, 300 gallons of cider for the year for multiple purposes. Every year, Sauter Village celebrates the importance of apples in our local history by showcasing all the ways the fruit was used. And showing visitors firsthand how cider used to be made will hopefully hammer home how much work went into making something that nowadays you can simply pick up at any grocery store. We've all drank from wells that have already been dug. And this here, you get the connection from the past to the present, and it's so vitally important that we keep that history to the future generations. Especially our, our you know, students and, and young children um, have a greater appreciation for just how hard our pioneer ancestors had to work. Along with cider pressing demonstrations, visitors will also experience apple cooking demonstrations in historic homes, see apple drying, and do apple crafts. And a trip to Sauter Village in the fall wouldn't be complete without a trip to the Dough Box Bakery. They're now featuring apple fritters, apple donuts, cookies, and coffee cake. You know, today, fall apple festivals, really a wonderful way to celebrate the beauty of fall. Mm -hmm. And that's true here at Sauter Village as well. Apple Week at Sauter Village runs through Saturday at 5 p.m. Reporting in Archbold for Go419, I'm John Monk, WTOL 11.